afternoon, welcome back to another video. How are we all doing? What? Oh, good I hope. Oh man, just everything's so overgrown at the moment. It's so hard, I didn't think it was going to be this hard to actually find places to ride. So welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a good week. So yeah, today's video, not your normal brake upgrade. A lot of the people you see upgrading brakes, the calipers, the levers. I've had a bit of a mixed relationship with these brakes. With a little bit of servicing and a little bit of treatment, you can get them half decent. The only downside is they just don't seem to last very long once they're running nicely. So I'll show you now. It's going to be a little bit dirty. I've been out riding for probably the best part of an hour now. And uh, uh, before I start, but that's got to be one of the best sunsets in the country. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you the upgrade. Aesthetically, definitely looks a lot better. The other thing that I noticed when installing them was the uh, the actual thickness of the rotor itself. These ones are a little bit thicker, only marginally, just a millimetre, but it definitely seems to have made a difference. The other thing I've done as well is I uh, replaced my brake pads. Now, replacing brake pads at any time is obviously going to make your brakes 10 times better. I switched up on the brake pads. Um, I know everyone goes for the Shimano's. I've had Shimano's. They were absolutely brilliant. Like any other brake pads, absolutely brilliant at the start. They just wear out so quick. And at 40 quid a pop, when they're wearing out that quickly, you just as well fit in some budget ones at half the price. I'd honestly say, yeah, I mean, I'm sure some people swear by them, but for me, don't waste your money on them. They're really not worth it. They're like any other brake pad, they, and in my opinion, they just wear out way too quick. Price wise, I think I paid around £65 for the pair. And with the installation of them, it should have been a five minute job. It's very clear to see how a brake rotor goes onto a wheel. Take the wheel off, unscrew the old one, screw the new one on, put it all back together, nice and easy. However, the absolute weapon that owned this Suron before me obviously had a Fisher Price My First Tool Kit and had absolutely stripped every bolt on this bike. The front axle bolt stripped. The four bolts that hold the actual suspension to the axle stripped. So I had an absolute blunder just trying to get the front wheel off. And it all really came down to the luck, this one bolt. There was just one bolt that I couldn't get off. It just completely rounded. I tried heating it up. I tried an extraction tool. And just nothing would budge it. I just couldn't, I tried drilling it out. I just could not get this thing off. So in the end, I'll show you a couple of clips of what I had to do, but basically there's a small slit where the actual uh, suspension clamps over the axle. And obviously it goes over and then obviously clamps tight. So what I had to then do is get a hacksaw and the multi-tool. Oh geez, this is tighter than I thought. So a hacksaw and a multi-tool into this very small gap and I had to cut the bolt free. 
I can only get about a millimetre of movement on each cut, so it literally took me ages. Well, I eventually got it free, got the head of the bolt off, which was absolutely brilliant. That then left me with the thread still stuck. So I ended up using an old Allen key and I had to glue the Allen key on the bolt, let it set, and then millimetre by millimetre, till I could just get enough thread showing that I could get some plies on it and do that to get the rest of it out. But what a nightmare it really was. That was, a, that was a little bit deeper than I thought. <laughs> Such an epic little place around here. Every time I come here, I always find new spots that I've never been into before. And it's so nice coming at this time of night as well, because there's just no one around. So I think that's going to wrap up today's video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please consider giving me a thumbs up and if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me too. Once again thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.